Well, it's the Halloween season, that time of year when kids dress up as their favorite characters to get candy from strangers, and internet reviewers make videos about stuff that scare them. And I gotta say, some of you guys are wusses. It's always the same stuff, too, like the tunnel scene from Willy Wonka. Sure, it comes out of nowhere and has nothing to do with the rest of the movie, but I never found it scary. Then there's Judge Doom from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Are you kidding me? I thought he was a cool villain. Besides, he's pretty easily defeated. Sometimes people talk about stuff like dolls and clowns, and really, guys? I never really understood the doll thing, but then again, maybe I'm just immune to it since I grew up with a lot of action figures. And as for clowns, well, let's just say I don't have a problem with clowns, but if any of them ever try and start something with me, And I'm always shocked at how many people got scared by the show Courage the Cowardly Dog. Seriously guys, Courage the Cowardly Dog scares you? The show that had a guy that was obsessed with shaving people? It's weird, yeah, but it's not scary. The shaving. The shaving. What is this? The shaving, the shaving. Get some edge, man. Well, this has a triple edge with special lubricating strip. What kind of monster are you? But today, we're gonna visit one of my childhood fears. Something that's haunted me ever since I was a kid. Garfield. Whether you read the comic strips or seen the cartoons, I think everyone knows who Garfield is with easily the best cartoon adaptation being Garfield and Friends. But before that awesomeness, Garfield had a lot of TV specials, sometimes involving a holiday. And today, we're looking at Garfield's Halloween adventure. And for those of you already calling me a wuss, oh, oh boy. Just wait for it. We open with Garfield being asleep, as usual, when he gets a rude awakening. Oh god, it's Binky the Clown. Remember, kids, if you don't exercise with Binky, you're gonna grow up to be worthless! I hate you, Binky. Yeah, me too. I'd rather get a wake-up call from Pennywise. Good morning. This is your 6 a.m. wake-up call. What? 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 But Garfield's attitude changes after he realizes it's Halloween and can get free candy. Oh look, it's John. Or as I like to call him, the saddest man ever. Oh, why can't I stay angry with you, Garfield? Because I'm a cat. What's with the blanket? You practicing for Halloween? Practicing? Practicing? Huh, I'll have you know Halloween's my middle name. Gar Halloweenfield. Yeah, Garfield wasn't always funny. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with this pumpkin on my head. Wahoo! There's a pumpkin on your head. I hadn't noticed. I was carving a jack-o'-lantern until you arrived. What do you think? It's you. Well, this one's ruined. You know, while we're here, I might as well mention that I saw the Garfield cartoons before I ever read the comic strip. So I had no idea that John doesn't actually understand him. Garfield always speaks in inner monologues. Which is weird, because every time he talks to Garfield, he always pauses like he's waiting for a response. So in reality, all of their interactions would sound like this. You're probably wondering what I'm doing with this pumpkin on my head. I was carving a jack-o'-lantern until you arrived. What do you think? Well, this one's ruined. Boy, I'm finding all kinds of new creepy stuff about this special. So Garfield gets help from everyone's favorite lovable idiot, Odie. They dress up as pirates and head off to Trick or Treat. And I guess it's not considered weird for an unsupervised cat and dog to go trick or treating around here. Also, apparently there are a lot of ugly kids in this neighborhood. Oh, how cute. Here you go, kids. 
Methinks your Bia might sting you with your candy, miss. If you don't reconsider your contribution, I'll give your living room drapes a taste of me broadsword. Thank you. Wait, did she understand Garfield? So, why can't John understand him? Is, is there something I'm missing here? After trick-or-treating for a while, they take a boat across the river to visit some other houses, but they wind up at some old shack on an island, and here's where the special takes a left turn, as the atmosphere goes from fun and games to genuinely creepy. It looks as though the place is deserted. Let's warm ourselves by the fire. Ah, this is more like it. Shut up, you two! That's enough to stop an old man's ticker. You picked a poor night to come visiting, my friends. This could be the worst night of your lives. I knew it. Let's not bother the man any longer, Odie. Stay! So does he understand Garfield? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for getting wrapped up in this. I'm just trying not to think about what's coming. This island has a secret. A deep, dark secret it has held for a hundred years. One hundred years ago tonight, a ruthless band of pirates held up in this very house. They had looted many ships and were pursued by government troops. They were so heavily laden with their ill-gotten gains, they had to bury the treasure before making their escape. However, before they left this island on that stormy night, they signed a contract written in blood. They vowed to return for the treasure 100 years from Halloween night the stroke of midnight, even if it meant returning from the grave. So Uncle Fester takes their boat, leaving them stranded on the island just as the clock strikes midnight. Just as I suspected, that old man was just some kind of lunatic. show up I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on uh you know it's just a, it's just a silly little blow up toy and this is just a cartoon I mean just, just, just humor me okay Garfield and Odie hide as the ghosts come in to find their treasure Maybe they didn't see us. Sweet Jesus, fuck! This is it, pal. We swim for it. One, two, three. <sighs> the old man was right, Odie. This was the worst night of my life. I've had nightmares that look like birthday parties compared to tonight. I know the feeling. Well, that's about it. They find their candy, they head home, Garfield actually shares with Odie for once, and we get one last moment that I'll admit is kind of funny. Boy, am I wired. I think I'll see what's on TV. Good evening, and welcome to our all-night pirate movie festival. Boy, am I tired. So that was Garfield's Halloween Adventure. 
To be honest, it wasn't as scary as I remember. Yeah, as an adult, it doesn't really affect me anymore. But man, was it scary as a kid. Overall, it's an okay Halloween special, but be careful if your kids are gonna watch it. They might want to crawl into bed with you that night. Not that I ever did that. Alright, enough childhood fears. We need to make this right, so I think next time we're gonna look at a hero. Someone who's not afraid of pirate ghosts or anything else. A real badass that's an icon for a generation. They're not pirate ghosts, Jonathan. They're ghost pirates. Huh? Pirate ghost would suggest that a pirate died and became a ghost. But a ghost pirate is a ghost that later made a conscious decision to be a pirate. No, David. Then they are pirate ghosts because they're the ghosts of pirates. You're wrong because there were no pirates in Colorado. So these must be ghosts that decided to become pirates after the fact. But that makes them pirate ghosts. No, it makes them ghost pirates. Pirate ghosts. Guys, guys, guys. Fighting isn't going to solve anything. Don't you see? This is exactly what those ghost pirates want us to do. Pirate ghosts.